Okay, this is part two in my series on implementing trading bots with LumiBot and Alpaca. So if you didn't see the first video, you're probably going to want to watch that. It covers the basics of what you need to actually implement a live trading bot. Uh, in this video, we're going to assume you know some of that, and I'm going to implement a little bit more complex strategy. Now, I don't expect this strategy is going to be a winner, and I'll just start by saying that this is not trading advice. This is for educational purposes. All right, but we'll see, okay, what's it look like to actually maybe have some kind of algorithm that we run periodically, either once a day, several times a day, right? Several times a minute, that kind of stuff. All right, so I went ahead and imported what I'm going to need from LumaBot. All right, and then uh, this configuration file uh, contains my API keys and an endpoint for getting in contact with Alpaca so I can actually place the trades. All right, and I am using a paper account, so there's a limit to actually how live I am going. But yep, as soon as you have a strategy that you want to implement, you would be able to switch from a paper to a live trading account and go ahead. Uh, and do that. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is right create a class, and uh, I'm going to call this Swing High. And what we do here to get the LumaBot library is we start importing stuff. So the main thing we want is strategy. All right, so now we have access to all the methods in strategy. All right, I'm going to leave a link for the documentation for LumaBot uh, in the video description. All right, and the documentation is pretty good. But at a minimum, we usually uh, do something as soon as we start running the file. All right, so that is the initialize. And uh, here I can do things like uh, set how often I want the iterations to run. All right, so that's actually what I'm going to do. All right, and I'm going to make it run pretty fast. All right, so I'm going to set up a strategy, and then hopefully we're going to see it place some trades. So I need it to kind of run pretty frequently for that to happen. All right, some of the other methods that you can get from strategy are before the market opens, before the market closes. All right, all these have defaults, and uh, if you want to override the default, right, I could just set a self dot you know before market opens here, and how much time do I I want it to run before the market opens. All right, the default is uh, five minutes. All right, I'm going to leave that off. I don't need it. I do need a couple of global variables, though, so I'm going to start collecting some data. I'm just going to put it in a list, all right, and then I'm going to keep track of how many orders I've placed to figure out when's the first uh, entry I made. All right, so that's all I'm doing there. And then the rest of the logic is going to go inside on trading iteration. At a minimum, you do need on trading iteration to have a trading bot. Everything else has defaults. So uh, as long as I set up something to happen periodically throughout the day and the default is every five minutes, uh, I'd have a trading bot. All right, so I'm going to just trade Google. All right, and uh, I'm going to set an initial entry price. All right, this entry price I'm going to use to decide uh, when to exit the trade. All right, so I'm going to reset it as soon as I start trading. All right, but for now, I'm going to get whatever the current price is. All right, and this I'm getting from Alpaca. All right, I'm going to see how big my position is. So I'm going to set a log message, and this will show up in the terminal as the iteration runs. All right, and then I'm going to start uh, collecting data. So I'm going to use that global data. It's a list. I'm going to append to it, and it's going to be that uh, get the last price of the symbol. Just copy and paste here. Okay, so this is the preliminaries, and then I'm going to start implementing the logic. And I'm not actually going to be able to run my strategy until I have enough data accumulated. All right, so I'm going to first check the length of that data list. All right, so I'm going to at least three prints there. All right, so if I'm doing this every 20, uh, sorry, every 10 seconds, uh, then the first time I'm going to be able to actually enter a trade is once I have four prices uh, in my list. Okay, and then I'm going to set a temporary list that's just the last three prices. 
All right, and then the logic of this system is gonna be if the last price is higher than the previous two, so it's higher than two prints ago, higher than the last print before this one, uh, then I'm gonna start uh, placing a trade. All right, so I'll look at the last price, and if that's greater than the second price, and if that is greater than the first price, all right, then I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and place a trade. All right, so I'm gonna log a message here when I'm getting ready to do this, and I'm just gonna look at those last three, three prints. I'm basically doing this as a, a debug to make sure it's doing what I think it's doing. Okay, I'm assuming that it works, so I'm going to set a variable for order, and I'm gonna create an order, and I'm gonna use the symbol, all right, and I'm gonna buy 10. All right, and then I'm gonna place the order. I wanna check and see if this is the first order that I have placed. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is increment that order number. All right, and if it's the first order I've placed, I'm gonna reset the entry price. Again, basically debugging so I can see that it's doing what I think it's doing. All right, so I'm gonna get the last price. And yeah, we're assuming that whatever the last price is that I'm able to go ahead and place a trade at that. All right, uh, yeah, it's probably a little different. I could get the price that I'm actually trading at, right? but it takes a little bit more uh, code to do that. So I'm just gonna use this for now. All right, obviously if you're doing it live, uh, you would want to get the actual price that the, uh, that the order was placed at. All right, and then I'm gonna, like I said, reset that entry price. All right, so you would just, you know, basically go ahead and find the filled price and, and replace temp with that. All right, so now we're in. All right, and then 10 seconds later, uh, it's going to it's going to run all this logic again. All right, so, right, we've already got three prints, right? Uh, we've either placed an order or we've not. We're waiting 10 seconds. We're going to see if the condition is met. And then either, right, place another order, place the first order, right? And, yep, if it's the first order, uh, we're going to record that as our entry price. And we're going to use that to decide when to exit, all right? So here we are. Uh, if it's not the first order, then we already have placed an order. And uh, now we're going to see if we have, right, now we're going to see if it's sort of time to exit the trade. All right, so I'm going to look at that, the current price, and I'm going to compare it to the filled price. And then I'm going to set it pretty tight and say, okay, if we're a half a percent below that fill price, we're going to exit. All right, and I'm also going to set a, a profit taking price here as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and right, I'm going to meet a couple conditions. I'm just going to confirm that I have a position, even though I must have a condition at this point. All right, I, I could write this in a couple of different ways, but I'm, I'm going to do it like this. All right, uh, self, I'm going to look at the data and look at whatever the last price is in there. All right, and if it is less than our entry price, all right, a half a percent less than that. All right, I'm just gonna dump the whole position. All right, and this is pretty easy. We can just sell everything. All right, so if I had more than one uh, security in there, it would sell every position, right? So if you wanna just sell this position, uh, we would tell it to get the position of the symbol and make a sell order for that position. All right, so this one just assumes that all we're doing is this particular algorithm where we look at Google and decide to buy uh, based on uh, what the last price is. All right, so hopefully capturing some momentum. All right, and then I'm gonna reset so we can keep running this, the order number here. All right, so I'll reset the order number once I sell everything. All right, and then I'm going to set a parameter for profit taking as well. Okay, so what this is doing is it's going out to Alpaca and it's seeing if I actually have any stock there. All right, so this is not going to return true unless there's a position. All right, and then uh, we're going to look at the data again. And we're going to look for it being greater than, I guess I'll make it greater than or equal to uh, the entry price. All right, and then I guess we're going to 
exit if as long as we make a percent and a half all right so obviously you can play with these parameters all right like i said at the beginning i don't think this strategy is going to work but i just want to show you kind of all right start to finish how do you get in how do you get out uh, and that sort of thing all right so once we get in uh, both those conditions are met uh, we're going to do this again so i'll just copy and paste that okay all right so that's the logic and then you know if you just leave this running all right, I'm going to uh, set a, I'm going to get out of this uh, at the end of the day, no matter what. All right, so that's going to be def before market closes. All right, and then I'm going to override the default there, and uh, we're just going to self dot sell all. All right, so that's the entire strategy. Uh, I'm going to set it up to run, and we're going to get to see if it actually uh, executes any trades. And uh, I'm not going to be able to back test this particular one because I'm basing it on the last price. And it doesn't matter if I look back in time, right? The last price is the last price. And so uh, it's going to look like I never made any money doing this if I just run a traditional back test. So if you need to back test or want to back test this to see how it works, all right, we're going to have to get data. And uh, obviously 10 second increments is too frequent. So maybe you could get minute bars, five minute bars, all right, get download that data and then, right, get it in a data frame and then set up uh, buy and sell signals in your data frame. And then you could run a back test on that using quant stats. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and see if I can do all that without making any mistakes. So we're going to need to get the broker. We're going to need to instantiate the strategy. Send the broker there. And then we're going to instantiate the trader. And we're going to run it. We're going to add the strategy and then we're going to run it. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so it's running. You can see it's sleeping for 10 seconds. And I'll probably fast forward this a bit. So at least we start getting some data. All right, so right now uh, we've, we've slept for 20 seconds, 10 more seconds, right? And so the first trade wouldn't be possible until the fourth time through that iteration. Okay, we can see my log message there. I don't have a position yet. I'll just sit here and wait patiently and see if we can start placing some trades. Okay, so we can see right there that we actually did get a fill. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at Alpaca to see that it has been updated. All right, looks like I have a small error in the code there. I didn't, I didn't tell it what uh, position, what index position to get out of the list. So I'll go ahead and fix that and then, and then look at Alpaca. Okay, so it's, it's still running. <laughs> Sadly, uh, it doesn't look like I'll be able to take profits uh, on this run through. All right, so let me, uh, let's go take a look at Alpaca. Okay, so there you see, yep, I bought a uh, 10. All right. And uh, I have already lost a uh, dollar ten. All right, so I haven't I haven't got to that. I lost a half a percent yet. All right, but the price is sort of going down, and we're just sort of sitting there. Uh, and it is kind of a down day in the market anyway today. So if I wait long enough, I guess it will execute uh, the exit here, and I will have lost uh, a half a percent. All right, so hopefully that helps you get started uh, with implementing uh, some more complex trade logic uh, with LumaBot and to execute it on Alpaca. So I hope that helps.